Thank you, Pat. I would like to call this budget committee meeting of January 20, 2016 to order. We have a quorum present. Meeting minutes. Would everyone take a look at the meeting minutes? Review them. You also should have gotten them in the on an email. So take a look at them. If there's any additions, subtractions, alterations, please feel feel free to make them. A motion to accept the meeting minutes of December 16th. Second. Any discussion? 
Oh, hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Standing or abstaining? Stand is abstaining. Okay? <laughs> okay. The couple of administrative notes. I would like the committee to remember that the changes to the budget can happen all the way up until the legislative body votes on them at the wonderful town meeting. So if you have any changes, any questions, anything that we need to discuss, please feel free to bring them forward at any time during the meeting. Tonight's meeting was arranged to take a look at some of those changes and to get an update from John in regards to some potential changes from the select board's budget. John, the floor is yours. Yeah, the, um, after going over the budget and getting some of the final numbers in, and uh, making sure everything was okay, the selectmen did notice a few things that needed to be taken care of. Um, one of the things was the land use <laughs> professional consulting increased to $2,500, and that would cover for the master plan update. And the other thing, um, public works director increased to 62500 and along with the tax lines that uh, are associated with that. Um, that was uh, after the 90-day review of our public works director. And um, so that increase. And we're still, with that amount, is um, less than what we had planned on having, our maximum that we planned on having to spend to get a new public works director. So it's in line with what we were predicting to replace our previous public works director. Um, public works subcontractors increased to um, $27,000. Uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but we've been having an ongoing problem with Manville Road for years, years and years and years. Um, Johnny Van Tassel, uh, our new public works director, uh, has done a lot of work with it, along with some of the selectmen, and um, they're doing some drainage changes, which is all done by the Department of Public Works. Johnny's got that. Some have been done already, and that will help out with some of the flooding down towards um, the uh, entrance to uh, the 3M there, yeah. And the other part of it is is to sign there were those huge pine trees that um, they, they just completely shadow out the road and that's a low salt or no salt, no salt at all use area. So there is no way for that to ever melt, you know, when it gets like that plus, you know, the uh, dangers of the branches breaking and from all the uh, snow that collects on them and continually blows down on the road. So we got a great deal on getting those done, provided that we uh, did it in February, which is actually the best time because the road's nice and frozen and firm. And they're removing all of the trees for, was it 12,000? 12, including grinding out the stumps. So 53. So that's a really great deal and the $12,000 should take care of a lot of the problems that have been ongoing on that road and the residents down there have been really patient with this it's been quite a while um, sidewalks for many years we've been putting money into the <coughs> regular operating budget for repairing sidewalks and they've fallen behind pre drastically to a point where there's some public safety issues. Um, as you know, uh, out front here, we've had people fall themselves. We've patched it up. That's going to be a major project. The other part is down um, towards the mill. That It's a section between the light, I think, and which it's um, from the mill building up to the light. Park Street. Park Street. Up to the entrance to um, Riverfront. Yeah. Um, that's in really bad condition where people could get hurt and injured in it, along with other areas of town. Um, so 
after looking at past experiences with putting money in for doing stuff and sometimes you just get public work gets busy doing all the other things and uh, it seems like the sidewalks got left behind so what we're doing is the road bridges and highway fund will now house that money there'll be some changes to the wording that will be brought forward at the town meeting and we put the money you'll see the increase to 36,000 now that includes the previous amount that was in there along with an additional amount to get us to a point where we've done the repairs on the worst what we're going to do is transfer the money from the operating fund at the town meeting as soon as the name has been changed of the fund and we're going to put that thirty-six thousand dollars directly in to the um, reserve fund for that. So there'll be um, anything that doesn't get done, the money will still be there to do it next year and the next spring. And we're working on a complete sidewalk plan to get us caught up, starting with the worst conditions. So that was um, it was a big thing, but it was we got it. We, a lot of us, you know, we're busy, we drive around, we don't see the sidewalks, but the kids and a lot of the patrons downtown. Yeah. John, can I interrupt you sure. for a second? Go I ahead. what John has done to simplify that, if the warrant article that we're proposing um, passes, which includes adding the sidewalk, $36,000 to that if that passes, then we will make a The $387 um, is the increase on the curbside contract. Um, unfortunately, uh, it, but actually, you know, that's actually a really good deal. We're, we didn't have anybody else submit a bid, so we put it all out to bid for uh, all of the trash collectors and, uh, and that. And we only had the seller was the only one that returned a bid, even calling the other ones up and saying, hey, where's your bid? So the 387, that's not bad. Um, the other thing was the old home day. Uh, the selectman had that at zero or one dollar or something $1. until we got the um, financial report, which came in, and that got increased to the $3,000. So. That's pretty much uh, the the changes in the budget. Good. John, could you have a copy of that sent to the board members? I don't think we got him a copy it of it. Yeah, yeah. Sent to the yeah sent budget to point. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was an email yeah. I sent yeah. Oh, I might have to look at my email today. Have my copy no, I'm fine. <coughs> yeah. Which is great. It made my job easier. Jane <laughs> Thanks, Tim. You're doing well, John. Look, yeah. they're all coming in finally. <laughs> no rush. Take your time. I was in Okay. I have, I have questions about the sidewalk construction. Why wouldn't you take it? Um, we have it as on our approved budget for 2016 by the selectmen as 36000 So if it goes in a warrant article, that line item of 36000 will come out of that yes. section. Yes. And then and Goes into the transfers right. over, and uh, we, we, yeah, good. And if the warrant article fails, we still have the thirty-six thousand to do right. the, the work. And that—that's one of the concerns. Was in fourteen, we put in nine thousand, twenty-five hundred was spent. You know, we asked, and nothing. And then nine thousand the next year, two hundred was spent. And I get that it just kept. Yeah, that's no. one of the things that I see as next week's. Like you try and go as to anticipate issues with the public. If I was in the public, I'd say I think we already paid for these hot sidewalks, <laughs> and there'd be a little bit of animosity towards that. And I think we asked it every year. And Good. This will settle it. Good. Yeah. Pat, do you have any input? We got an estimate to do the, the Mill Street that particular portion of the sidewalk that's going to be 
Mill Park Street to the Mill Street section is 11,000. And then um, the school street section is going to be done is 25,000. That much, that's why the 36,000 will get to get actual estimates for us. Winter Street is over 100,000. Winter Street is well over 100,000, and we're trying to work with the state. We've spoken with them as late as last week. <coughs> Um, we would like to see them reboot some of the drainage and fix their drainage to the veterans' home, which is causing some of the deterioration in the road itself. They said it's going to go back out. And, and also, the, the money in prior years was primarily for maintenance or something that we really need to be fixed. Because, as you can tell, these projects are a lot of money. Even though we have some equipment that can help with the project, we have a little work and things of that sort. But, um, so that's why, you know, along with you know, the new administration down there, they might have looked at it. And, and uh, so I think that's why the big change. Good. For members that came in a little later, we're working on the selectmen changes, the select board budgets changes. You should have a copy of that that was sent in an email. I borrowed Jane. Borrowed Jane's, okay. If not, we'll get you a copy as soon as you take a look at it. Eric, there's one there if you'd like it. Okay. You and then, you I, Sam, go ahead. Are we correct that Caleb Hill and Clark got the patch, and then we're going to do it where the state fixes it properly and hands it over to us next year? Caleb Hill. Just Caleb Hill, not Winter Street or Clark. Caleb Hill will go into engineering in 2017. And Clark was part of that. Locking That's why they the patched it. And then you would just say, all right, well, they probably do it one through two. And you say to yourself, if they're going to be one through two, let's just do the sidewalk where they rip it all up, you know? They initially came to us for Clark to look at the end of the year as a complete project. We refused to take over Winter Street because of the drainage issue in right. there. It's not worth it for the town. No, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I remember when Dennis said it, he says, I don't want to inherit a bad road. As a matter of fact, if they're going to expand the veteran home as taxpayers, as, you know, make a little stink, hey, you should fix what those ambulances are driving up, you know, what those buses are driving up. They don't utilize you know, cause that road is to get to the, yeah. the, the, uh, the, uh, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. They're not going to fix it right. I wouldn't want it. Wouldn't well, they fix mm -hmm. it right? We should be taking over the services, the state facility. Right. There was an article in the paper. Right. Right. There was an article. Sanberton too on Bay Hill Road okay. or Bay Road. There's an article in the paper yesterday saying Governor Hassan had signed on uh, to Kayla Hill and to Silver Lake Road. So those two are officially signed off on by the governor. No, that's not what the paper newspaper article yesterday said. Catherine, any input on any other changes? Yeah, I didn't talk to the governor. Any change in input? Jim. Uh, well, the only the only thing that we don't yet have is um, insurance or liability. We're still waiting on uh, pricing to come in. Uh, Joyce is still waiting on that for July.
John, what does, with the changes, we approve the changes tonight, what will the effect be on the bottom line of the budget? It should be already on, reflected on. Just for those people that don't have one. Minus 0.8%. Minus 0.8%. Okay, in money, in money terms, Tim. I think what they're talking about is if the warrant article goes through, the 36 comes off the budget. Right, but I'm just saying, I, yeah, either way. An actual well, number. Well, even, even, with the, even with the 36 in the operating budget right now, just the operating budget, not warrant articles, it's $38,281 or $20 million for the selection. Yes. Okay. Yes. John, would you like to make some motions to make some changes? Uh, let's see. <coughs> Why don't we some the some things are easier with paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that to Catherine. I <laughs> uh, Let's see. So the line items, what line items, so I don't have to go let's through. Let's go with the Anybody 2, for land use. Okay, so we're going to increase the land use, I, and I don't have it for me. If somebody has it right there. Yeah. He's going to give you, he's going to need some milk. Tim, go ahead and give him some milk. Okay, the, the land use, um, That's the difference, well, the land use, uh, select and approve. Oh, here we go. Yep. I'm, I'm looking at increasing um, the land use master plan update. Huh? Oh, wait, this doesn't have it in here. Oh, um, no, it would be the land use professional consulting. Increasing that from one dollar to twenty-five hundred dollars. That's a motion. Okay. Is there a second for the motion? I second it. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. Discussion. I thought it said two thousand on the thing, and now it's twenty five hundred. So we're increasing it by five hundred or by twenty five hundred. Actually, by twenty four ninety nine. Oh, I thought it said two thousand. The email yeah. said twenty five hundred. Yeah, in two thousand and fifteen, there was a budget for two thousand for that. Oh, okay. And that's right. It's I saw going that. to be uh, twenty five, and and that's to update the master plan. We have to get that done. Mm -hmm. We just can't go on with it. Yeah. Tim, you have some input? Uh, okay. Didn't clarify if we need. Okay. Further question? <coughs> nope. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Ayes have it. John, next motion. The next one. Unless somebody else wants to make one. 62500 for the public works director. That's a motion to change the public works director line, which is okay, and associated lines okay. to reflect the increase of the public works director salary to sixty two thousand five hundred dollars from, okay. from fifty eight thousand and. That'll include, Tim, you can DFIC and all that other wonderful stuff? Subsequent line. Okay, do I have a second? Okay. Seconded by Jane. Discussion. Just because I was late, what was the purpose behind The purpose yeah. behind that was that um, our public works director, 90-day um, review after hiring to see um, 
you know, how he was doing uh, was after we had submitted the 58,000 and it was decided to raise him up to 62,500 and that number was based on we had when we did the search for our, our public works Marshall director Lake we came up Lake with that ballpark like minimum maximum that we would pay out for it we had quite a few applicants um, all the good ones um, that had the necessary qualifications were all uh, I believe they, I think they were all okay. over the 625 they were in somewhere in 70s and uh, we chose Johnny he was local and um, we know about him uh, he knows the area and all that so we chose him and we start him at the 58 with the 90-day review so you just didn't the anticipate the review in right. the it, it, yeah it didn't get it's we reflected didn't until yeah. so what he did is served a three-month probationary period and when we originally gave the number he hadn't had his 90-day review so we couldn't go and Other questions? Just, uh, just because yeah. I'm an idiot with numbers. What's the percentage that that is? So Four thousand to sixty-eight to sixty-two. All right, we have Kim and Christine. We have good people here. Come on, get those data. <laughs> sixty-two what? Where would that line be? Because it's not in land use. The top line is the public Okay. Seems like a, we, we, it seems like we've been. Anyone else in town hall would be at, at the maximum of two and a half percent increase. That's for raise. This isn't a raise. This was this was a hiring process. We hired him contingent on what we thought we could pay him. And we started him low to see what he could do with the understanding that in 90 days we would review it and then uh, pay accordingly. accordingly. Dennis was still here. His salary this year would be up around eighty-one, eighty-two thousand. Question: He was so. here for how many years? Yeah, because well, that's so the, that's, that's the other issue. You know, like you ask, we how does somebody make seventy thousand dollars working in this building? Well, they've been here twenty years, and this is and six months it. into it, and he got seven percent. That's yeah. a big jump. It's understandable how it's concerned. Question. No, I know. But when, we, when we hired the land use person, we hired him in the probationary period and then we made an adjustment. Then no adjustments are made after that unless uh, something profound happened. Uh, it's usually just a merit. Question to like what is this position salaried? Yes. So there's no overtime. There's no overtime. So if he's plowing at three o'clock in the morning, he's not getting overtime. No. No overtime. So this is just a straight salary? Yes. Change. I think too you've got to take into consideration he's not a new guy who's been hired off the street. He's been public works director in two other towns. The town of Sanberton and the town of Northfield. So I, I think that enters into it. His experience level. Okay. I thought he was Further discussion. Just one more question. Is he eligible for 
a review of the merit pool raise in he, the month of July or whenever that comes? Yeah, he's yeah. still eligible for his uh, annual reviews. Now he's on the regular schedule as the other employees are. Or would that be retroactive to January 1st? Or is it we, based? No. Is it based no, no, his, this 7.8% this increase is just retroactive. At that date. What was his 90 day review date? Oh, it was, so this, this also wouldn't be retro. No, no. No, it started when we gave him the review. That's the date. But now, if we were to pay him 52 or whatever it is, and then make him eligible for overtime, okay, what would the salary look like at that well, point? Well, it would be salary <coughs> at that point. It would be an hourly right, wage. Right, but he'd still get 52 start, and if he was to get overtime at time and a half, which he does not get now, being salaried, what would it look like? As long as no year. Yeah, I mean, they've already, they've already had about 35 hours of snow. Yeah, yeah 52 Just is $24 an hour, $25 an hour. Comes around that, and then you figure, time you half. know what it takes for a storm or and don't forget that, both so. of those snowstorms are on holidays. And he's doing great. Yeah. Further discussion. <laughs> he is doing great. I see him everywhere. <laughs> yes. Can we Here make we him if we, can we make him find the other money to fix the sidewalks then? He's not yet. Uh -huh. We have to give him a little time. That wasn't paid for has been paid for for three years now. You know, actually he find it somewhere else, use that money somewhere else. Actually he's got a really talented bunch of guys and he's a great leader with the guys and motivator and um, he's already talked about there's a lot of the work that he can do himself as well as prep work if we have to outside contract he can work alongside them and he's going to try and work deals with borrowing some of their equipment and we operate it so he's kind of he's, he's a local that's and we'll also knows everybody, something that's so. interesting is he's setting up a training program for the folks that are working over at highway they're actually going to be taking courses and we can use the on how to do things, right. which is going to take the liability huh. down the line. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Nay. Okay. Vote is one, two, three, four, five. Eric, A, aye or nay? Nay. Uh, yeah, aye, whatever it is. <laughs> In the affirmative. Okay. We have one nay, the rest are ayes. Okay, what's the next one, John? I'll do it okay. if you give me a line item. The next one is the Public Works uh, Subcontractor line. Oh, subcontractors. Uh, be 720. Uh, line number ending in 720. Everybody okay. got it? Yeah, I got it right and, here. And um, that's being increased to... Uh, 27000 Twenty-seven thousand dollars, which reflects a twelve thousand dollar increase. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Jane. Discussion. Okay, because I was late, so just need a little background on that. Okay, John. Okay, some of that is to. This is tree work on Manville Road. Yep. Yeah. That is to. If, uh, if you've been down Manville Road. Uh, I, not for a while. Yeah. It's um. It's a no salt area and 3M along the borderline of their property, but the trees are actually on our property. Uh, there's 52 trees. Was that number 52? 53, something like that. Pine trees, very large ones um, that, because of their size, they block all the sun from getting on the road. And that road has been just horrible with ice building up and there's nothing you can do about it. They've spent all kinds of time with front end loaders. They've tried everything, but it, it couldn't. Um, and that money is to remove all of those trees. So all those big tall pine trees all the way from the railroad tracks all the way down. And, and that includes grinding the stumps and the guy will do it in February. So that will that twelve thousand dollars will alleviate a lot of um, time and energy that's been 
spent trying to get that road to be safe each winter. Was that was that sent out the bid? Yeah, there was um, there were a lot of bids. A lot of bids. 16, yeah, 16. 16 bids and raised from 12,000 to 44,000. Do we make any money off the uh, mulch or anything like that? Or I think actually we got a lower price because the, they do go and uh, make some money, I guess, off of it. Do we make it? Does the town make any we money don't. off of it? No. no. So, so we pay him a lower price so he gets the profit. Yeah. It's somebody we know. No, oh, yeah. Further questions? Comments? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by, by saying aye. 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 Those opposed by nay. Okay, John. Okay. Anything left? The next one was the let's see. Sidewalks. The sidewalks. Public Works Sidewalks 760. And uh Increased to thirty-six thousand dollars. Did every were you here for that? Okay. Yeah, well. Okay, go over second. Do I have a second? I'll second it. You love seconding today. Well, okay. okay, discussion. Okay, what we're doing is, um, if you look over the past few years, um, we've been putting money into the budget for, to do the sidewalks, and. They haven't. It hasn't been getting done and getting spent properly um, to get the sidewalks done. There were other things that did. This will allow. Well, the thirty-six thousand will go in there to will allow us to make repairs to the sidewalks. But this is a two-part thing where we're going to take that thirty-six thousand and we're going to move it into the highway uh, roads and bridges fund so that. If it doesn't get spent, it stays in that fund, so it could be spent on the sidewalks for the next year. Will that warrant article be restricted for sidewalk use only? No. So it'll only be used for those purposes, no, not for not to purposes. pay for something that we don't have money to pay for the way it has been exactly. planned. Right. So it really protects it. And if, right. and if it doesn't get done for some reason, um, we'll have it the next we'll year. The next and so if we appropriate money for roads, sidewalks can be taken out of that warrant article as we increase to that that uh, warrant article, correct? Good. Questions? Eric? Do we have a master plan for a list, a list of, a, a, a project list of where this money is going to, uh, what's going to be, how this money is going to be spent? Do we have one for the roads that's all pre been set up previously that gets changed a little bit here and there as roads change for uh, their needs. But the uh, sidewalk plan is, um, it's, it's being updated. updated a lot because uh, you know, a lot of sidewalks it, are going to be but hard, but Do we have a plan in place, or we're just... We already know what we're going to do with it. I mean, where did we come up with the $36,000 number? Yes, we, we came up with... Yes, we have a plan for $36,000. It's 20, we've got an estimate for $25,000. Yeah, right along. It's on that side of the road, though, right? Yes. Yeah, there's really no sidewalk there now. But what's it's the project here? The school in Street. Front, in we, redoing this, redoing the drainage in the sidewalk here. On the side. We're redoing the drainage. Are we taking ownership of the drainage? No. The state. <laughs> it's not for the drainage in the street, it's the drainage that comes down between the two buildings here. Right now, it flows over the top of the sidewalk. Okay, so it will you know, kind of... We took a tree down between us and the end. Yeah. And part of our earlier discussion is, as you can see on this forum, we've paid in the last two years $18,000 for sidewalks. And I believe the year before I asked the question, when it was 2014 that we paid for sidewalks and they haven't been done and it's building up to the point where 
now it's costing us more to get it all done that hasn't been done for a few years. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my concerns, and I'm sure would be a concern of the public, is we paid for this. And that money was used in other places on previous budgets. The question I have is, can we find places in that budget to put money into this? Well, for example, this year, the You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That 18000 went to other places. The we raised in 2015 went to do unexpected drain work up on Scenic Road up by Lancaster Hill Road. Um, they discovered it was all rotten. Their catch basin had to be put in. Right. We also discovered that somebody had tapped into our drainage of their septic system this year. <laughs> yeah, but so we only spent $208. But well, we over Jobs. we spent all of the other money that right. was in the fund right. in other all places. In I'm so the two hundred it from some other place to get you know. Yeah. And I get yeah. it. it's thirty six thousand. You know, you're going from nine to thirty six, but and part of that will be the that money went somewhere else each right. year. Well, the other part is if the, 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 sidewalks are the warrant article will be the protection device, and that uh, once that money goes into that warrant article. Can't be taken out right. of that, and it keeps this from happening. We put thirty six. So, oops, we didn't get to so the money. If we take the money out of the operating budget, they'll they'll put it back in in the Warren article because they'll just increase it by thirty six thousand. At this point, it's kind of an insurance policy that the thirty six thousand dollars. What I'm saying is, we do the art Warren article for thirty six thousand. And we put nine thousand in our budget. What if the town mean? people don't say yes to the warrant article, the highway department has to deal with just having nine thousand and get money from so other they, places. They in their it did, you know, we we did no, consider that. What I'm saying? The, the the importance of getting these sidewalks done and getting that amount of money so we can get caught up with the real safety issues. That's what it is. Right. And. No, I get it. Yeah. I get that the sidewalk was very important last year, too. But we only spent $208 on sidewalks last year. This sidewalk did not get bad in one year. No. No, you get what I'm saying, yeah. though? You understand why it's frustrating as but a... you have a bottom line budget, so it gives some flexibility if situations come up. Just like right. in the police department. They have overtime that sure. is unanticipated. And that's part of a budget, is you find it from somewhere else exactly. to spend it on somewhere exactly. else. And we found and our sidewalk done. money yes. for several years in a row to put to something else. Let's find it that's from right. somewhere that's else to fix these sidewalks. If the townspeople don't say yes. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five A's, ayes, two nays. Motion is carried. John, next. Okay, the next one is curbside contract. Um, this is the Whopper. <laughs> it's going to be an increase of $387. Um, public works search for that contract. Two, Bottom line, 867. Here we go. Yeah, 867. From 114? Yep, so from 114.108 to 114.495. Do I have a second? I second it. Second by Jane. Discussion. I just one. any idea why the salad was the only responder to our bid? No. Yep. <coughs> John? Yeah, we, uh, we called up. And ask them, hey, you know, gonna, it could be because of uh, just the way things are with that business right now. Recycling costs are not very profitable, and uh, that's the way it is. I, we were a little surprised. And I think also um, most competitors would look at their costs are going to have to transport it further. Well, I thought that probably played a part in it, but I think that plays a large part in it because. Yeah. yeah, we still have to go to the. the yeah. Okay. Further discussion? Oh. Eric? Just, just a double question to mm. follow up on tonight. Does us contracting with that company and the fact that we're the, the town of Tilton is in a lawsuit, is that like a double the, negative type the, thing? Or? The lawsuit has been, there was already a judgment made on that. Um, so, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, 
the contract went up by three hundred and eighty seven dollars and that's it. Yeah. So there's no retaliatory. I don't know if they're like trying to stick us with their legal no, costs no, or anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay, further discussion. Part of business. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay? Ayes have it. Sean, are there any others? Uh, the next one, uh, the selectmen, I don't know if the budget committee needs to do anything with it. I'm not even good. No. I'd say that's it. That's all that reflects selectmen changes. Okay, good. Thank you, John. Jim, you said we have some revenue good news. We need some good news every so often. I did. Wasn't there going to be an increase in revenues? Looks like a decrease. Yeah, no, uh, no, I, uh, How's I that? We got here. Putting you on the spot just to watch your face. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. At this point in time in the meeting, I'd like to reopen it up for any discussion we have on any of the line items for the budget. Um, I would like to take a look at the tax collectors line item. There have been some concerns around it, so I'm looking for input. Are there any concerns, additions? that we need to take a look at before we make a final decision on that, or a decision. Jules, you look like you have a, a question or an input. Um, I would suggest that uh, we keep it in line with the rest of the employees and not go beyond 2.5% of an increase. Okay. Because it's... Is there any further discussion around that item, John? What's the history? I think there was an increase last year on that. Yes, there was. Seven. Seven percent. Eight. Eight.
And just my, my other thought was, you know, we can always do it. I know this sounds harsh, but just to be clear with the public, we can put a dollar in there, correct? And then explain to the public what's, you know, that they decide as a legislative body what the salary should be. And the only concern I would have is the elected body or legislative body could vote or their, vote this person a raise and not put the money back into the budget. So we would then be taking that person's salary from other line items within the operational budget. Well, isn't it just as simple as while we're there, after we vote, they decide what the amount should be. We'd have to add we make a motion or, or we have to make an amendment to the amendment. budget yeah. to the operational budget. Yeah. At that time the legislative body can say no. Well if we had the or they line can say yes. If, if you make an amendment to it. If you make an amendment on the floor to decrease or increase a particular line item you're, you're in, in the legislative body votes on that that line item gets changed to that number. Right. And, and, and Reflects it. But they also can vote <coughs> to say no to any change in that budget. Right, and it stays the same. Mm -hmm. so. Catherine? Catherine, I'm going to look at the body. I really look at the budget to make a recommendation on all of these line items. Um, the general position of the general position is done in great. And um, the law is not allowed. I We can still recommend, but I just last going off of what happened last year, which I think was a bit confusing the way it was put forth to the public is is I think what I remember. The, a lot of chaos. the big thing that made it uh, I don't know if it was made it untasteful to the public was we put it in our budget before mm -hmm. they said yes to it. And the assumption should have been if they said yes to it, it automatically would have amended our budget. That's not the way it's handled. Uh, I don't either. This piece of paper goes to the budget. No, but goes that's to what I think was the body as a discussion. recommendation. The oh. budget committee, your budget committee goes to the legislative body as a recommendation. As our budget goes to the legislative body, they see it. We recommend it. You recommend it. And they, then there's discussion on it. And what happened last year was, you know, she she wanted 15%, if you remember, and it went back and forth, back and forth. And then the final vote on the amendment, the final vote was 75%. And the legislative body voted on that. Then we changed that line item to, to include 7.5% and all the other lines that are included in that. No, I get what you're saying. I'm saying that at the meeting, that's why it was, why did you put it in there if we didn't already vote for it? And that's what you're saying is we should put it in there before they vote for it. You know, that it, right. that's why we're on, watching yeah. the position well, so to make the recommendations see, to them. It's not very clear. We've had this discussion so many times. And for the public to hear it for the first time, that's why I'm, I'm keep it as simple as possible for them to understand. Oh, really hearing it for the first time. But this is every single year you go out the town to pass the wages. Wage item. What what uh, what we can unequivocally, without a doubt, say that the legislative body really were not to spend two to three hours in the discussion whether or not 
we go from a dollar to fifty thousand to fifty-eight thousand, back down to forty thousand, back up to sixty-two thousand, and take two hours to do that on the salary, when in fact they've elected officials to help them out to do that, to do the research, do the background. What do you recommend that, that she get? That's what goes in this as a body to go to town meeting. They look at that. Sometimes they go different. Sometimes they go with what your recommendation is. That's a great idea. I think um, we should just recommend put in what is currently, what her current salary is, and explain 2.5% is the going rate and that we would recommend that. So we would put in her salary plus 2.5%, which would be the 56,375. We can do it that way. Okay, before we continue on, would you like to make that in the form of a motion? Okay, uh, I <laughs> make a motion that we put in for the town clerk tax collector's line. Um, well, we're going to change the line from what it currently reads. 57,2. 57.2 to 56.375, okay. which is reflecting a 2.5%. Do we have a second? I'll second that. We have a second? We have a motion? Do we have further discussion? I have a question. How do we get to 57.20? How did the selectmen come to that? Yeah, I just want to say that I've gone to, since I've lived here, I've gone to all town meetings. And this this line item has always been up for discussion because the legislative body does understand that, number one, it's an elected position, and number two, that she's the one who puts in the request for her salary. They're well aware of it. It's been explained to them. I don't think there's any lack of understanding on their part. And I don't think there was any confusion last year. I just think there was a lot of discussion because of the amount that she was requesting. Please. That's my opinion. Eric. I thought that until last year that we had, as a town, assumed that we could give her a raise based on merit raise. And that's where the whole discussion came into play. Cause it, it's part yeah, of it. But it's always been an area, whether it's been a merit raise or an amount that she's asked for, it's always been controversial. Okay. So that's like $12 a week difference from the 5720. Okay. Okay. Jules, would you restate the motion, please? Uh, I make the motion to raise the, the town clerk tax collector's line from 572, I mean, yep. to lower it from 572 to 56375 to, re to reflect the 2.5%. Okay. Everyone understand the motion? Is there further discussion on the motion? I'll second that. Okay, no. I, I, just, I thought we you didn't uh, say did, you, did. did you second it? Oh, Eric. somebody Eric did. did. Eric, Eric, Eric did. did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, John. Come on, John. <laughs> I didn't know if it was... <laughs> okay. motion again, if you want. <laughs> well, we had this discussion I thought so. Ago. Yes, it's, okay. It's always this one line item. All those in yes. favor <clears throat> of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those against, say nay. Uh, okay. The vote is one, two, three, four, five, six. Eyes, one nay. Motion is carried. Further questions, motions, discussion on the budget? I have something on something different. Okay, go ahead. Um, the salary of the IT director, which this new budget has bumped to 25,000 which is a $3,000 increase from last year's which is a $3,000 increase from the year before so from 2014 to next year is going to be a $6,600 increase for something that was a new position that year there was always a concern about why such a a uh, 10 percent leap two years in a row okay where did the selectman come up with the original number and why is it jumped so dramatically each year hey john well I, I think what we did is 
it was hard to determine originally how many hours the job was going to take. We didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, as you start doing the job and um, seeing how long it takes to do the things and, and get things going, um, came up with a more accurate number of hours per week. We increased the number of hours per week by 13 hours a week, by 13 hours a week, and took the amount of the calculate out by the number of hours currently spending versus pay and added that 13 hours in wages. Right. Now, wasn't it also the plan that last year and the year before, there was going to be a high intensity of updating equipment, high cost of updating equipment, high cost of time, but that would not only level off, but actually decrease after a while. Yeah. It increases every year. No, we're actually uh, going down. 84, 84, 9, let's call it 85, to 110,000. Granted, we did go down to 95 from 110, but we're still 10,000 over the 84. And I guess, you know, it has gone down. It's just, it was just a concern of that, that position to begin with because it was a contract that we had with the company originally. Mm -hmm. And it was the first year I was here as to, it was a new position. There was a concern I had um, of the position itself. No offense to anybody who hold, holds this position, but just in general, someone who has that position also having a different position in the town is a, exposes the town to a, def, a definite liability for concern. Okay. Not that I have any reason by anybody I've ever met here, uh, but just in general, if the person who has this job ends up in the Bahamas, no offense to anybody, <coughs> we can't get a hold of them, and there's millions missing, and the server goes down and you can't recover it, it's, it's a liability. And it was just a, in the beginning, and no offense to anybody, I, the person who does the, both jobs is great, at, and he's a, but not only that, but it's another 6,000, another 3,000 on top of another 3,000, on top of another salary at this town. John, as you try, try to address that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk to the back, because uh, that is a concern of mine, so I want to make sure that you know, if I ever left it down, if something happens to you, that I fit the town's all the time drive. I, I utilize a company as a backup for our firewalls and our servers. So uh, any significant changes to the firewalls or servers, I involve them for one to two weeks. I'll have them to take it out of the other side. question is does a backup company become the foremost company like it used to be a contract with somebody to do these services for the town or or a part-time job <coughs> a different person doing this part-time how many hours I'm prior sorry. to doing this prior to doing Even on contract, 
I can kind of vouch for that too, because in the town of Plumas, we just we also have, we have the same situation where we right. got rid of uh, those contracting companies can be quite. Oh, and they can make up whatever. I get it, and, and that's what I mean is the you know I think we get every dollar we can. We just to justify how we jump and jump. And jump. Not only every dollar, we have gotten more for our dollar here at Town Hall than we need in Riverfront and public, uh, public Works and the City Center. We have updated equipment all around the city. We've just gone out, got researched, and we've got free stuff and managed to put two into one. Uh, we just today, the phone system is the uh, voice over IP phones went live at the PD. Um, the server is a very new server up there at the PD. To just to do all of that work back and forth, back and forth. Um, you know, 13 hours a week is what we put down on paper. I can attest that this IT director has well exceeded so, those 13 hours a week. So is it is it 13 hours extra a week? You anticipate three, three, total. Three, three, three additional extra. hours a week. So it's yeah. a 13 hour a week position that you calculate. So it's not a 20 hour or a full time job. Okay. okay. Hang on for a second. Hang on for a second, Catherine. Hmm. Is that um, one thing I want to add to what Pat was saying about the contract we have before the private entity before town hall that contract. They did not include highway and it didn't include police. They did it their own thing internally, which we discovered was probably not a good idea. <laughs> I don't disagree with anything you said, uh, to be honest, and I don't think any offense or anything, but in the, uh, in the services side, when you compare the 84 to the 94 now, uh, back in that 84, we didn't have body cameras, and those come out of my budget. So that's 45 per year uh, for the body cameras. And, uh, and then uh, there are a few other things uh, like that that uh, are newer. In the IT from each department, I remember a lot of that came off right. other line items. Stan, do you have a motion that you'd like to go with that? No. <laughs> just discussion. Okay, just, moving I just on. Wanted it discussed. Moving I wanted on. Yeah, it's explanation for the. All right. Hopefully, you got one. Uh, question <coughs> now. Are there any other questions or discussions that we need to have around the budget? Next now. Next week is a public hearing. For those folks who have never been to a public hearing, they are fun. Okay? It will be posted. It has to be posted by law. Thank you. Okay? And pe Lots two people it. usually show up. Maybe three, if we get lucky. I would ask that you remain calm, cool, and collected. This is a public meeting. Okay. John will need some data from the police department. Three people showing. They always like to learn, like about fuel consumption and all that good stuff. Can you arrange for that to occur? Yep. Or be up on it? Yep. Okay. We'll head that off quickly on gallons of gas. Are there any questions from the budget committee in regards to the public hearing? Now, there will also be another public hearing with the Warren articles. And John, would you give us a very little, very general update on the Warren articles? It doesn't look like we have any money Warren articles. We, did, we have um, the highway equipment that we usually put in for the equipment that would be in there. Yeah, that's good. We have the road streets and bridges that we just spoke about that we usually put in 65,000. That Warren article will now be for one thousand thirty-six thousand for the sidewalks if that passes. 
We have a revaluation, which is 20,000, which is normal. That's what we do every year. And they have one other um, anticipated but that's we in the brainstorming. There won't be money. Do we have a timeline when they'll be completed, the warrant articles, so we can take a look at them? Next week. Well, look, a draft, not, not oh, oh, they'll be before, probably the February. week, at least the week before the public hearing. Okay. So, I don't know if we want to meet for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they'll look it up. Um, I saw that. John, one of the things, uh, we didn't put any money in for the milfoil right. this year. And in case anybody's wondering, we are not adding money to the milfoil. I don't know if everybody was familiar with the reasons behind that. Um, it's at around nine thousand dollars, somewhere yeah, the, the, pretty the close to it. Yeah. For, uh, and yeah, and nobody has gone and asked for to use any of it. The conservation commission is. Um, They've got a form and everything that they're developing up and trying to encourage people to get involved because we will help, but we haven't had any. So Good. no sense in adding more to it until then. Okay. Anyone, is there anything anyone, anyone would like to add at this point in time? Christine? Mm -hmm. Jules? Yep. Jane? Money for chocolate. Money for chocolate. We'll have to put that in the Everybody budget. Everybody should bring some. John? <laughs> Just... Uh -huh. um, just so that this everybody's familiar with everything on there, and if there's no such thing as a uh, bad question, <laughs> if you right. keep asking, you know, it's it's one of the toughest things to do because you got to you need know, to deal with everybody's salaries and things that are dear to them, and it's just your opinion. And nobody takes it personally. Um, so if the there's any questions, I do. Ask them. Yeah, I Aaron, hope you question. Um, would it be appropriate for me to ask how much we're paying on our bonds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what uh, percent? What, yeah. What's our what? What's our percentage rate that we're paying well, on the, the bonds? Rate on the bonds? Uh, well, we have our last, we're just paying our last bond payments this month, and we're part. Uh, but otherwise, we have. Um, let's see. That leaves with. Uh, one more thing. We did um, change some of the fees for building permits, but that's a really tough one to figure out what's going to happen, you know, with the building market. So I think we're going to leave that at the 25000 for revenue still. I don't think it's like we never discussed changing that. But there is a slight increase, and that helps cover for some of the costs that it, it takes to... Um, Pay our building inspector and all the miscellaneous stuff. So that's really important for everybody to look over the revenues too and be comfortable with um, asking questions about that. Eric, uh, if I could just correct myself, I just looked it up as I started thinking. It sounded wrong. Uh, the refinance debt is at three point one percent, and the um, business park drive is three point seven percent. Eric. Nope. Pat? Wow, this is going too well. Catherine, uh, Catherine's not going to. Catherine? <laughs> Even Jim. Well, yeah, so. Uh, How can we? Yeah, <laughs> if you ask about the debt, uh, we, uh, we have a uh, net debt for 61 Lincoln Park Drive is not secured for the building. So uh, we have a balloon payment that's Thank due. God. That we have a plan of how we're going to pay off less than that. So, any John? Does adjusting the line item for town clerk tax collector affect any other lines? Uh, yes, it would. Yeah. So we should. 
so we should probably do we include that in our motion no and we to did adjust? not jules we need a motion that to adjust the fica unemployment other associated lines with the changes to the i make a motion to adjust the fica and all lines associated with the payroll for the town clerk tax collector line item Number. Yep, we're all set with that. <laughs> Christine, go ahead. Second. Okay, discussion. That line. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Any other business before the budget committee? If not, Stan, would you like to do the honors? No. Okay, Eric. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Yeah, so I have a second. Do this. All right, it's a non debatable motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? I have it. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Jane, Back to the last camera town for me? meeting, a lot more people showed up because they put flyers on Winter Street, Califf, and uh, so all.